Let's get right into it. Single dad Alex Calvo inherited his estranged grandmother's house in Florida after her recent passing. So he and his daughters packed their bags and moved to the home to start a new life. Damn. The house has been right. in his family for four generations and has been left mostly untouched. In fact, when they move in, the home is still full of his grandmother's belongings. Alex begins to record moments from his family's move to the new house and shares his experiences on TikTok. When they first okay, if it's TikTok day, <laughs> I don't know about that. Certain viewers soon point out to him that there is something very disturbing in the video. Alex oh. is shocked. Oh, Look at our new house. Wow, this is cool, right? Better than an apartment. Okay, got everybody here. So they recently Heading moved in into the new house for the first time. Okay. Yeah, let me just back away a little. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. See how scary? Oh, it's kind of scary, actually. Yeah. Oh, look at all this stuff. I mean, if you're gonna put it that way, then it's a little. <laughs> Go. Okay. Um, this kitchen's pretty nice. Ready? The fact that he's recording—that's like. The door. Because normally, normally you do not you record. When Alex oh. walks past a mirror, a creepy dark figure can be seen in the reflection. Damn. Alex says that he has no idea what this could have been, but he decides to keep recording his experiences in the new house. A little yeah, over a month later, you... and in the middle of the night, this happens. Okay, I just heard a loud bang out here. It's the middle of the night. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Yo, can a brother perhaps know the Hello? time? Oh. oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, that uh, sound oh. effect he added? Why? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody in here? Nah, this one, I call it cab. What the f Alex hears a loud bang and goes to investigate when a chair suddenly just moves on its own. Hello? Oh. Yeah, he had a sound and effect then, for entertainment, I get weeks that, later, but... He films another chilling experience. So I just captured something else on tape. Um, while I was actually taking the tape, I did not notice it at all, but you go ahead and take a look at it and tell me what you Yeah, think. the face he's making... Okay, I, just I, heard a really I call it noise cap. coming up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um... Turn on the lights. Like everybody says. <laughs> okay, come on. I know I heard something. If it, if it was really true, you wouldn't be in this uh, house. You would just scurry, you know? Oh, damn. Oh, so, yo, oh. Yo. Oh, no, oh my god, you. Here. Turn on this light down here. Alex doesn't notice it at the time, but he accidentally records what seems to be a pale face staring at him from a doorway. I don't know, man. He they have a policy. making this. Listen, bro. Listen. They have a policy of not showing up on camera. I, I'm loving these videos. Don't get me wrong, but damn, you know what I mean. Strange noises and appearing in his videos might actually be the spirit of his deceased grandmother. Cut this looks like a night, guy. And Alex captures something absolutely terrifying my god dude okay i am up here where all the different like scary Let me just activities back away. happened and uh, i'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards as i'm up here i can feel like the pressure of steps landing around me um i don't really know what's going on it's uh it just seems pretty crazy to me i i just this is i don't know this is not what i signed up for when i got this house don't oh, do it yo my oh, my <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I wanna. Oh God, damn! Holy Holy I'm pretty God. sure they hired actors for this that one. Actually, my grandmother. Oh my God! Holy sh! Oh. What Yo, we're just oh in the beginning. There is more stuff. No way, bro. The robe is sitting there on the floor. Are you kidding me? I don't like Holy this. Alex I don't can't believe I like this but I don't like him. this someone appears to be standing in his doorway by the time he manages to collect himself whoever or whatever it was has disappeared so could it be that Alex's home is haunted by his grandmother and if not then just what is this I highly recommend uh, yeah, that you watch Alex's full story over on his TikTok page Alex Calvo 
is haunted. <laughs> it's TikTok. I mean, perspective. listen, man, I what don't, I'm not like going at the homie or anything like that, but it's a little bit, you know what I mean, might be a paid actor or something. Mr. Bunny Toes says that she was home completely all alone with just her grandchild when she gave the baby her old phone to play with. The child accidentally starts recording a video and captures something chilling. Let's change your butt. You smell like you poopy. I mean, if it's a child getting scared of something, now nah, you could trick a child to be scared. I don't know, it's kind of hard. It's Did really hard. It? Reddit user Bunny Toes is shocked when she looks back at the footage. Oh, Her grandchild seems to have recorded a tall, shadow-like figure standing right behind them. The astonished Reddit user believes the apparition to possibly be her husband's deceased grandmother, who passed away six years ago on the exact same spot where the figure can be seen in the video. But My is God. it a shadow figure or just a very strange trick of the light? Let me know down in the comments. Yo, okay, this you one. See a video that you think would be perfect for the I don't know, five, dude. It's very hard to um, stop five at because it can be easily faked, you know. Could but be easily faked. Abu Alvarez. Now, the name Abu Hernandez Alvarez might sound familiar to you because over the last year and a half, I've featured his continuing frightening story. Abu lives alone in an apartment in Mexico City and claims that he suddenly began to experience terrifying paranormal activity at all hours. Objects would move on their own doors slammed shut, and the sound of high heels and knocking were heard in the halls. Most horrifying of all, a strange female entity began to appear in mirrors around his house, mm. and then the apparition Damn. even physically attacked Abiyud. Oh, in his last yo. video posted to Facebook, he recorded a shocking encounter with the female spirit he called I was looking Zaya. at my OBS and I just and saw that. Damn, he bro. just sort of disappeared for a while. Abiyud has since returned and adopted a cute little puppy named Milo. It's not long before Milo starts to regularly react nervously to something that Abiyud can't see. One night when Abiyud is fast asleep in bed, a static camera records something very strange. If a dog reacts, if an animal rea reacts differently. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, right? Like, it's... Now, personally, I believe in stuff like that, but... Uh, more than half of these videos, 99% of these videos are not true, but whenever animal reacts, it's it's a little bit suspect, right? Most of the time, it's just crackhead energy. Y you never know, right? You could have tricked Milo your dog. at something that we can't see, and an ominous noise can be heard that seems to respond back to the little dog. It's almost as if little Milo is trying to protect his owner from something. Over time, Milo seems to Yeah, maybe maybe the dog owner that we trained him to react that way, you never before. know. The teddy bear named Googie often seems to just move on its own. Oh my god. Milo has been playing with Googie for a long time and he seems to be having fun with him. Yeah, that's a really good dog, bro. <laughs> That's a really good dog. One day after frantically searching, Abiud can't seem to find the teddy bear anywhere. It's like it simply disappeared into thin air. Gugi ha desaparecido y no entiendo. Gugi has disappeared, I don't know, and I'm seeing that there on the mirror, there is water as if it's coming out of it. And all that water is draining and it's dripping onto the floor. Even on the side, you can also see how the water is draining like from the chair. Or I don't really understand. I don't know what is happening. I really don't know how to explain. That Gagi has disappeared. Well, I don't even know. Oh my god. Yeah, I heard something. Did you see it? Even though Abiyud shows an empty chair, the teddy bear can be seen sitting in the chair in the mirror's reflection. Even My stranger, God. water appears to be seeping right from the mirror itself. Eventually, Teddy Bear Googie returns to its usual spot and all seems to be going well. Until one night. Okay, I... Abiyud hears a Why very loud dark? noise coming from the same room. He once again takes out his phone and starts to record. It did not go well. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, oh, damn, that's gonna be scary. Oh my god. It's crackhead energy. It is crackhead. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Precisely where Guggies. It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. I was yeah, homie just chilling. Okay, this is for you. But well, it has worked. So far, it has worked. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yo, why is the water? But what if he put the water? You know what I mean, right? Like, you can easily put water. I don't know. You can sleep. Okay, I, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to not look because I have a feeling. Okay. In fact, I think it's not. This has happened. Oh shit! Oh damn! Oh, oh! There was a guy coming in, Adam. You, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. All right, you know what? He's breathing heavily too, so that's either he's a good actor. You know what I mean? He's he he's breathing heavily. In an absolutely bizarre twist, what looks like a terrifying clone of himself charges toward Abiud, scaring him so much that oh he my stumbles God. to the ground. When he gets back up, there's nothing there. My also, God. a strange symbol that wasn't there before now appears on the mirror. When Abiud checks out the living room, something dark seems to be standing there with him, oh, only no. visible in the reflection in the living room mirror. After this horrifying experience, Abiud takes his dog Milo on a long trip to just get away for a while. So, is Abiud Hernandez Alvarez uh, really violently haunted? Yeah, this got me, bro. This got ARG? me. Either way, Honestly, the videos are terrifying. And as all Yeah, it is, either this is a very well-made fake and he's a good actor or I over on his Facebook page. I don't know man, it's probably crackhead energy but founded in 1811, it got me. It got me. city of Astoria, Oregon has seen its fair share of dark history. In the early 1920s, most of the city tragically burnt to the ground. It was rebuilt with concrete reinforced pylons creating a creepy hidden underground tunnel system. Many of these tunnels served as underground living space for the very poor but they were also home to a lot of violent criminal activity and were very unsafe. One of the unfortunate poor people who lived in the tunnels was a woman named Abigail. Abigail was a poorly paid seamstress in a tailor shop during the day and at night, she lived a very hard life down in the dark tunnels beneath the shop. In 1972, Abigail saw no way out and ended it all. Her remains weren't found until a week after her passing. Another Damn. unfortunate soul that is said to inhabit the tunnels is allegedly that of a young girl named Sarah, who is also said to have met her untimely death beneath the tailor shop. Over time, the underground tunnels were closed due to safety hazards. The tailor shop was sold and eventually became the Gully's Butcher Shop. Owner Diana Gully says that she has always had a bad feeling that someone or something might still be down in the tunnels beneath her store. Guests have taken photos in the basement of a mysterious entity that seems to be sitting in a chair. Others have gotten nasty headaches during their visits, and some have even seen a large shadow figure. The story goes that one man visiting sat down in a chair but soon fell over and then quickly ran out. A normal he human that what wouldn't he go. to be the spirit of little Sarah came walking towards him and pushed him right out of the chair. Diana Gully has invited popular ghost hunters Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Skylar from the YouTube channel Twin Paranormal to investigate whether the stories are true and just Yo, I gotta check them out. I gotta check the them out. Gully's Butcher Shop. As Ryan is interviewing Diana about her store, River is busy setting up a static camera in the tunnels. He captures something downright chilling. Uh oh. So when you're oh, checking snap. things, maybe you could get a little bit more information yeah. about that. See, some things may, uh, here differently. Mm -hmm. When we want to do some investigations, sometimes they'll trick you. What the f? 
Yes. You were saying that somebody was sitting there. Right. Could have gotten scratched on their face. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Or could have just Brian. Uh, yeah. a little bit too excitement and them doing it themselves. I don't know what we I don't know if I want to look at this. Running footsteps. A normal person would not go there. What happened to you? Dude, I've never had this happen, ever. I was getting a shot, and I hear someone walking like this. Okay. And it came right behind my ear, and they're breathing really heavy. Oh, no. Uh, I've never had this happen. I almost just freaking lost it. You okay? I'm okay, but that was really That's scary. Was that you running over here? Yeah, it was me running <laughs> over here. I've never had that happen. If your now, content is primarily out, finishes their interview with store owner Diana and officially begins their investigation using a rim pod into If your content is primarily about like ghost busting, uh it's very hard to kind of trust you, right? Because you might be doing that for YouTube obviously. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like if you because even I'm enjoying these videos, right? But it's super hard to believe you when that's your profession and you're you always like bust ghosts and you want to put videos out yeah you know what i mean right emf meters they begin to ask questions to the spirit of abigail and things just get weirder it's going that just went to red that just yeah. went to red yeah. are you filming it that went all the way to red yes can you spike this one as well this one in my hand what Please. does that do Whoa, 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 whoa. It captures some sort of energy. Uh, I'm not really familiar with them, but heard about them, obviously, you, and now we're seeing it. If this is you. Not one, not two, but all of their devices spike at the same time. The team moves on to a different section of the basement and their devices are still continuously spiking. That's when Ryan experiences something terrifying. Oh, okay. Only, Thanks for the this warning, just though. keeps going off. Thank you. Riff, riff, riff. What? Uh oh. Somebody's right here. I think they're gonna Somebody's throw a right Twinkie here. or something. Are you over here with us? <sighs> riff, 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 riff. <laughs> what? What? I just got what you got. Somebody's right here. Are you over here with us? <sighs> Oh snap. What? What? I just got what you got. Something just took a deep, deep breath right by my ear. If I had a heart monitor right now, my heart is beating so fast. Just like yeah. his brother River, Ryan experiences and hears the breath of someone right next to his ear. But that's not all that the twin paranormal guys catch at Gully's Butcher Shop. Here's another object here in Skylar's hand. All you have to do is walk up to this object and you hold on to this antenna or get close to this metal rod that you see and it'll light up and it'll make noise. I'm going to go ahead and set it over here in this walkway if you can come over to us and use Dude, your Dude, why energy. would you go down, Give us you know? a sign that you are here with that. There's just a lot of crackheads and I have a feeling that some, yeah, I, ha I was gonna say before too, I was literally gonna say, but I was like, I'm gonna wait till they Give finish talking. Sign that you are here with that. Nah, cameras. The would they really capture them? Seemingly walking around down in the tunnels is captured on camera. That's definitely a no human. That's definitely a human just playing recorded, around. But they do hear footsteps coming from that direction. So could this be the spirit of Abigail? Could it be the ghost of little Sarah? Or Where is Scooby Doo worse? when you need him? Let me know what you to think. To hunt them down. The legend of Kashima Reiko. Oh, so the story oh, snap. of this next video this goes Japanese? that an anonymous Japanese man lost a bet yeah. with his friends, and so they dared him to explore an allegedly haunted forest completely alone. Is that as the Logan Paul one? The Where Logan Paul experience. went? He hikes into the woods just as the sun goes down. As you might suspect, it did not go well. Dude, okay, listen. Oh, yeah. Japan, ghost, forest, sun going down. Run! That's not, that's not good. Sun going down, sun going down, sun going down. Uh, nah, I don't like this. Yeah. Probably crackhead energy, but... Probably, <laughs> yeah, probably a Japanese... Konnichiwa, omaiwa mu, shinde. 
This is giving me a bad feeling. It is giving me a bad feeling too, Doug. You should not be here. This is low IQ decisions. Why? What should I do? Just go home. Just leave the area. Because it's probably a crackhead somewhere. It's getting dark. My god, it's not getting dark. It is dark. What do you mean? 5.01 p.m. right now. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like somebody's behind the, the tree. This is bad. It's 5.10 p.m. Okay, now it's dark. It's not really dark. It's just dark. It's just dark. We cannot even see anything. Yeah, I, I feel like something is just gonna pop. Oh, snap. Is that like a Call of Duty Zombies crawler? No, I guess crawler? I played Call of Duty Zombies in my early days. So it kind of looks... Remind me of that creature. It might be it might be a Shivava or something, you know? It might be a Shivava. Somebody Shivava. It might be... You never know, a bird, maybe? You know what I mean? Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, run, brother. Just run, run, man. The pale, Just think it's a Shivava. The torso of a woman appears to crawl her way out of the forest, getting closer and closer. The man makes a run for it and the video abruptly ends. Now Japanese viewers say that the mysterious video has a basis in the frightening urban legend of Kashima Reiko. The story says that the vengeful spirit of a woman is forever looking for her lost legs. And if oh, she happens dang. upon someone, she will take the legs of anyone she encounters. Yeah, okay, noted. Never go there. Never go there. Ladies and gentlemen, that's enough. Make sure to check out part two and one, and I'll see you there. But click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna.